Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to Katie Allergy. <laughs> Hello there, my YouTube minions. It is I, your unfriendly neighborhood Skeletor. And today, I, Skeletor, have got another Skeletor Scary Reactions. That's right. <laughs> it's been a while since I've done this. Well, you can't really scare the children on Christmas. It's just not right. That and Shaney was incapacitated due to some not-to-be-named illness for some reason. Starts with a C <laughs> and a few other things. And after a couple of Christmas specials, here we are. Back at it. Now today, my minions, I, Skeletor, plan to react to a channel called Sir Spooks. I don't know if I've ever reacted to Sir Spooks. Maybe I have. I don't remember. A name with a name like Sir Spooks, I'm thinking it's probably Scareglow in disguise. Check the chocolate! I'm on to you, Scareglow. <laughs> Today's video is entitled Top 5 Scary Videos That Will Creep You Out. <laughs> now, I don't know about you, but when I hear the word creep you out, scary and paranormal just doesn't come to mind. And maybe it's just me, but when I think of something that creeps you out, I think of some pervert on the bus or something. You know, some guy who just lets it all out, you know, while he leers at you creepily. That to me is what I think of when I think of creepy. Maybe that's what this video is. I don't know. It could very well be be a whole video nothing but creepy pervs on a bus. Let's actually be entertaining. Let me know. Would you like to see Skeletor react to creepy pervs on a bus just leering at you? Shut the chocolate! Humming that song from the police. Everywhere you go, every move you make, I'll be watching you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, enough of my blathering. Let's get on with this reaction, shall we? All right, sir, spooks. Let's see what you've got. <laughs> Hello, everyone. My name is Sir Spooks. Hello, Sir Spooks, a.k.a. Scareglow. How are you? <laughs> Today, we'll take a look at five scary videos. But before we begin, make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe for more scary content. Yes, everyone, be sure to go to Sir Spooks' channel, give it a like and a subscribe, and tell him that I, Skeletor, am on to him. All right, let's begin. This first video comes to us from a Reddit user named Economy Pen 9235 Economy Pen. <laughs> I love these names, don't you? You just see you wonder what goes into them. Or maybe that's his mafia nickname. That's Fat Tony over there. And over there is Economy Pig. Why do they call him Economy Pig? Yeah, because he likes to whack people with a cheap pen. <laughs> and was filmed in Clumber Park, located in Worksop, England. You know what they say? Clumber Park is frightening in the dark. <laughs> or is that another park? Yeah, I can't remember. The video in question is only about three seconds long, but it's been creeping out everyone who has actually watched it. The footage was recorded outside in the middle of the night, while the uploader uses a flashlight to see the park around them. It doesn't take long at all. Wow, genius! A flashlight to see around him at night? No! What creative thinking this is! For something truly eerie to appear. Take a look. They weren't kidding! I had my doubts about being frightening in three seconds, but there you have it! that? A strange, ghost-like apparition can be seen moving in front of the camera for a brief second or two before eventually disappearing into thin air. Never That's really be bizarre. I'm like looking at this right now. It's like an all fours just gliding. I'm not sure if it's real or not, but even as a fake, he's not wrong. This is creepy. <laughs> not as creepy as a man on the bus, but still pretty creepy. Seen again. What in the world could this thing possibly be? Well, it's obviously Scareglow. Like I said, I have a feeling Scareglow is going to be in all of these pictures. He's creating the content and then giving his own reactions. Smart move there, Scareglow. Very innovative. Shut your chocolate! <laughs> the appearance of the figure has led some to believe that it might be nothing more than vapor. Like smoke or- Vapor? Vapor crawls on all fours? Sometimes I find the explanations more ludicrous than what they actually think it is. Vapor. Yeah, some guy in the woods was vaping in the shape of a guy walking on all fours. Get your head out of your, you know what? <laughs> a fog floating in the air. However, most people are puzzled and can come up with a proper explanation. One Redditor posted their own story about a similar shape they'd seen. Quote, 
I saw something just like this with like seven other witnesses in Wisconsin. Did he just say with like seven other witnesses? By the way, I'm just regarding this entire statement because he said just like. I saw something just like this, like with other seven like witnesses out in like camp. No, he's ignore. <laughs> this is like ridiculous. Answer at a scout camp on former native burial grounds. Shit formed out of a sprinkler's mist, stood there for a second. He actually said shit. I was like, did he actually say that? I'm back on board on this guy. <laughs> and then ran across the field, like 30 to 40 yards to the woods. Haven't seen a video that encompasses the apparition look as well as this one, end quote. So what do you think? Is this some sort of paranormal entity caught on camera by this Reddit user? Or is it just vapor? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Well, it is vaporous, but entities are vaporous, aren't they not? They're not mutually exclusive. I don't know about this one. It's too quick, but his movement, I agree, is pretty creepy. So, one for one on the creep factor, I will say. Whether it's legit or not, I don't know. I'll let you decide. <laughs>
Their son Gavin recalled himself sleeping all night long and finally managed to capture something. So You know, I always wonder what these people who film themselves all night long. Number one, who sits through that videotape? You, you sleep for like eight hours plus, right? You're going to sit through eight hours worth of video every night just to find out if something happens in front of your camera. How does this work? You have to skip through a whole bunch of it? Or do you watch the entire eight hours? What if you farted at the exact time that the paranormal thing was happening? You passed gas at the exact same time. I'm just saying, there's a lot of these videos of people watching themselves sleep. How much free time do you have to just sit there and watch yourself? What are you doing, honey? Nothing. I'm just watching myself sleep. Wanna go see a movie today? Nah, I'm way too busy. Great A entertainment, everyone. <laughs> Without further ado, Let's take a look. Yeah, my head's over here, my feet's right here. And so if you, if you, for a second, you'll see right here. Okay, whoop, uh, rewind it, bring that back. And Let's then see, can it just we... whoops right up. Ready? Watch right here, right here. Whoa, Jesus, okay, so that's already am. creepy. Yeah, so there I am. That's I'm right already there. creepy. I'm right there, I'm but just... <laughs> Again, how long did you have to watch to get this five second of footage here? Are you sure it wasn't just passing gas? Because sometimes, you know, if you eat enough broccoli. <laughs> like, it's maybe that's Gavin. Not me. He, some he somehow got up. There I am. No, no, no. Ready, right, right, right. There I am. That's supposed to be me, right? We skip a little bit, right? Uh, yeah, uh, ready? <laughs> if you say so. I mean, the quality of this image is so poor, that could be anything. It could still be Skaglo. We can't really make out what it is or what it is not. <laughs> then it just goes like. It yeets Ready? back out of existence. There's my head right there. You can see me moving. And as soon as I yeets move. Back and do you see how as soon down. as I moved? As soon as I moved. Looks like it's leaning in towards you. Unless that's not Jesus. a blanket. What is, that is like, this? A blanket? What's a blanket? Skin? Is Ready? that a, even a blanket? Because the blanket's Watch. not moving. That's not a blanket! The blanket's not moving! And then you see me right there. <gasps> take it easy, all right. Is that your girlfriend? She needs to take a Valium. Relax! <gasps> I will say, it's pretty strange. I don't know about creepy, because it's really hard to make out. I mean, I already have no eyes as it is, and when you give me quality like this, it makes it that much harder. The video seems normal enough to begin with, but things take a drastically unsettling turn when it appears that there is some sort of strange ghost-like apparition that appears in the room suddenly. That looks like a pillow of some sort, like some kind of giant plushy toy that just decided to sit itself on top of him. That is a weird thing to happen. And I'm glad that he cleared up the image because I really couldn't make out what he was talking about. Thank you, Scareglow, for making it glow just a little more. Shut the chocolate! only to, all of a sudden, move out of view again. What do you make of this highly creepy video? Some people claim that it's just a person under bed sheets acting like a ghost. Others say that it's somehow Gavin's leg moving the covers. But most seem convinced that there's something much more paranormal at play here. To this day, nothing has been concretely answered, so for now, this video will just have to remain as an odd and fa- I mean, I've been fooled before, so... Sometimes I hate actually saying this, but their reactions did seem genuine. They did seem a little spooked by this, which makes me think that maybe they were not in on it. This kind of looks like someone in a fat suit wearing a thong bikini, kind of like fat bastard sumo wrestling. <laughs> Fascinating mystery. It is weird, I will say that. Number two! Let's hope it's not a number two. I left the rosebud in there for you. <laughs> <laughs> this next entry consists of a total of three videos posted to TikTok by a user known as All Day Every Day. The first one shows the upload on question wandering around an outside area equipped with a flashlight. The man walks around the area trying to be quiet while also exploring as best as he can. He then makes his way into this barn, which appears to be slightly disheveled. At first... Did he film this with a 1980s camcorder? When did this take place? First, he doesn't see anything too out of the ordinary, until he pans his camera up and sees this. 2 a.m. The wife just woke up. 
said she thought someone was playing in her back shed. It looks like there was a trampoline there. Maybe the ghosts were playing on the trampoline. Okay, that's... Okay, that there, whether paranormal or not, it doesn't even matter. At that point, that there is creepy. And yes, I would say even more creepy than someone on the bus. I don't care who it is. Most likely Scareglow. But whoever it is just hanging around at the top of your barn just chilling out like that. Yes, it's pretty creepy. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, run! That's the appropriate response to that. You see some ninja hanging out in your rafters, you run! The second video is quite similar in that it shows the man wandering around outside while looking inside of some buildings to investigate. Take a look at what happens when he points his camera at his house. Something. So there was more? Are we not going to go back to explain what that guy was? How would we see that? <laughs> around and making noise in one of our sheds. I'm not really sure what to expect. He just said the exact same thing. I missed something. I mean, I saw some dark shadowy thing. If it was me after what I saw in the first barn or shed or whatever the heck he calls it, I would have gone the next time with a weapon. They're like, get the hell down from there. I don't know how you got up there, probably playing on my trampoline, but get down right now before I call the police. Scarecrow, -no! get down from there. <laughs> oh, there it is. I actually missed that. In the third and final video, we can see that the attic oh, door begins to rattle. So it's a black shadow? The first one didn't look like a shadow, the first one looked like a person. Seemingly all on its own. But because of the events of the last video, the uploader understandably believes that there is somebody inside hiding. Take a look and see how the rest of the video unfolds. Yes, that's what I would assume. If he assumes the same thing, why the hell are you not calling the police? At least call He-Man someone! <laughs> He-Man! Yes, I got something dark in my shed! Most likely it's Skaglow! Please, come, send the Masters of the Universe here! ASAP! <laughs> and then He-Man and the Masters will take care of him! But no, he just keeps going with his horrible camcorder! This is why it leads me to believe it could be fake! Because people don't act like that in real life! Yes, just keep going there, not knowing who, what prowler, what person's there, if he's got a gun, if he's got some kind of weapon. Nah, just go in there with the protection of your cell phone. That'll help. That's why I'm calling BS to this. <laughs> Pulls it down very slowly for dramatic effect. <laughs> I to missed something. Day, the uploader of these videos has no idea what he ended up capturing on camera that night, but it definitely looked like some sort of creepy shadow figure or person terrorizing him. Ah, I got terrorized by Bigfoot shirts just now. Did you see that? <laughs> Let's just hope that he's able to live a nice, normal life these days. In this shed. I call BS to this one. No one reacts like that. If you believe you got a real person hiding out in your shed all dressed in black like that, <laughs> chances are it's Scareglow or a ninja. Either way, you call the masses of the universe to help. Nor the police. <laughs> one or the other. Not Skeletor, I'll be in bed sleeping. and telling you, leave me alone. Piss off. <laughs> That's my concern. <laughs> Wow, he's promoting the hell out of his merch, is he not? <laughs> Number one! This next video doesn't have much context attached to it, 
other than the fact that it was filmed somewhere in the Philippines. Look like at these vehicles. Now I know they're poor and I, this is probably how they get around, but it's probably a lot more efficient than what we've got going on over here. I really want to see these catch on in North America. Do you not? Elon Musk, get on that. Make these your next Tesla vehicles. <laughs> I want to see these all over North American roads by next year. Make it happen. In the video, we can see something incredibly strange directly in front of In your neighborhood. <laughs> Who you gonna call? Not Skeletor. The camera. Take a look. There he is again. Scare glow again. I always find these weird. Does no one have a light? Shine a light there already. The figure certainly looks to be that of a human. Yes, this looks like a human person, not Skaglo. This is the one where I actually can see that it's probably not Skaglo. But <laughs> this does look like the creep I said at the beginning who was on the bus flashing his wares. <laughs> this is what happens after the creep leaves the bus. He does stuff like this. An creature with glowing eyes. It is moving around on a rooftop. Interestingly, nobody in the area seems to be all that freaked out by this figure despite... Ah, I take it back. You know what? That could very well be Skaglo. Just naked. <laughs> we don't know what he looks like underneath his cowl. Shut the chocolate! This could very well be him. Actually, if I'm being honest, this does look alien-like. I can see like two glowing eyes there. This kind of looks like a cone head shaped, really thin looking neck. It's kind of alien Schmeagel looking. He's just Schmeagel looking for his precious. Yes, it's my precious. Well, I'd say this is the new thriller in Manila. <laughs> it is creepy. Right how terrifying it looks. Of course, nobody knows for sure whether or not this is a humanoid figure, but it definitely is a likely explanation. Now that I actually look at it, could it not be a bald, like, panther or cat thing? I mean, think about it. Maybe it's got mange and it lost all its hair. It did look kind of cat-like. It has glowing eyes. Maybe it's like a Siamese panther. <laughs> what do you think about this footage? Humanoid or not? Be sure to let me know in the comments below. I would say this one is pretty creepy, except for the fact that they were all laughing at it. Kind of takes the scare out of you, Scareglow. And that was five scary videos. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, then subscribe for more scary content. And buy his horrible Bigfoot merch. <laughs> I'm just kidding. They weren't too shabby. Yes, go on his channel and subscribe, everyone. My name is Sir Spooks, and I'll see you all in the next video. This is Sir Spooks? This is what he looks like in real life? Nah! He might as well be scared, though. There you have it! Top 5 videos that will creep you out. And you know what? True to form, it really was pretty creepy. Whether or not Sir Spooks truly is scared, though, I don't know. It's still up for debate for me. <laughs> anyway, let me know what you thought of this video in the comments. Do you think Sir Spooks is actually scared, though, in disguise? If you do, let me know in the comments. Shut the chocolate! <laughs> Anyway, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to Shinyology. Until next time.